for the first time in a long time, January is about to be a real roller coaster. Money is coming in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Viewers, welcome back to a transfer special with me, not Spenchy FM. As I actually don't really know what's going to happen today. One thing is for sure, though, money is going to is going to cover me. It's going to be exciting. Essentially, three players have been sold for big money, and as a result of that. We need to bring some players in. Let's run you through what's happened, though, since we last met. You can see they're third in the Spanish First Division, but it's no less tight than it was before. So I must say, results have been very, very good. And we're going to play Toledo in the Spanish Cup second round today. It's a, it's a chance for us to showcase just how good we are. I will say, Philip Gab being back is really important. You can see his name littered over here. Um, he doesn't just score one in games. He scores a few. Yeah, a few. So, of course, last time we met, it was those it was those agonising defeats, really, to, uh, to send Sebastian. On Real Sociedad and Real Madrid. Uh, Leganes was, uh, was the follow up there. A 5 1 victory there. Really happy with that result. And then a 3 0 win in the Champions League. We then played Bilbao. So you can imagine my thought process here. We, we, we've lost to uh, Sociedad. We've lost to Real Madrid. Then we've lost to Bilbao. And I'm starting to. The panic stations are starting to set in, viewers. Uh, a 3 1 a three -nil win against uh, Gijon. And then a 2 1 win over Liverpool in the Champions League group stage, which to me felt like a big deal. Philip Gab was back in business and scoring goals. You can see after those games against Madrid and Sociedad, he came in, scored a penalty, and he was back in the goal straight away 3-0 win um yeah so against, uh, against Gijon and then Liverpool were beaten with a goal from him and Zeno uh Valenz got us a goal and a away draw against Sevilla which actually took us not too bad a result before we started to power home the goal 6-0 5-1 4-1 1-0 against Granada and then a 7-0 by the way a, a late 1-0 win against Granada and then a 7-0 win where Philip Gab gets five goals to his name if you bring up his form here you can see the man has been scoring for fun since we last met and uh, yeah it's nice to have him back in the side so far 19 in 17 and because of that i'm playing some of those lesser sides and giving them a right old pumping viewers uh we are back into third real madrid who you remember last episode started at the very start of the episode behind us and now top severe up there as well and atletico madrid barcelona sociedad bilbao all still very much in that conversation um but we have the best striker in the league so that helps that makes me feel better i'm gonna throw in the spanish cup where i think still my priorities lie but to be one point behind after the form that we had last time the, the basically the, the, what's happening is the, the, the teams that are top of the table at the moment are losing and, all the, and everyone else is drawing atletico uh, madrid and uh, sociedad have drawn either nine or eight times which after 19 games is quite a lot for contenders in and around the league it's very exciting now let's move over to something even more exciting and what's happening with these transfers what is happening with the transfers ben so i've had some ridiculous offers basically all of my players it feels like have been wanted whether it be baranka emdal zeno's had offers as well zeno's not even one of the players leaving by the way and as i try and make this look a little bit more succinct in some fashion um i, I think my head might be in the way viewers but um, gutierrez has got a big bid on him at the moment uh he could be leaving us for a massive 53 million that's mario gutierrez of course a central midfielder that we use quite a lot but 53 million is pretty good aquino is the next one and um, basically chinese clubs have gone we'll have all the valencia players 63 million for him i mean i like him a lot he's really good but at 28 63 million off he goes and you can see at the top there 70 million pounds for omar biaz who has had a pretty good season for me and this is the one i'm a little bit like oh i don't know but akisa can play there as well so i <laughs> yeah okay i mean again 70 seven, yeah 70 million um of course without come in and we've had to do a little bit of not done a lot of preparation a little bit of preparation i figured this would be a good video to bring you the action so we've got this game this cup game coming up and uh, we're not going to play against batista today we're going to get to that third round draw and, and with the six days we've got in between the uh, the spanish cup second round we will see what happens in this transfer window i suspect there will be some more action on the ins I've lined someone up. Kelvin Nguem. Now, of course, if you watch the French portion of when we had an international campaign, I saw this man and I thought, wow, you are something rather special. Now, he's gone to Norwich, and the reality is, in the Premier League, that Norwich are having a decent season, but they're not contenders. And I think Nguem wants to be in a team of contenders. Chris Tull's the top goal scorer in the Premier League. Of course he is. So we're going to try our best to take advantage of that. I've already put a bid in for him. Uh, the bid is 68 million and a bit more with a few like sell-on fees and whatnot but i think for a player like him that's 
pretty good business. And uh, yeah, what a player this man could be for us. So let's go. Let's continue. Let's find out what happens in the next few days. And of course, players are going to have to leave. I've also put a bid in for Lataro Martinez. Uh, I'm getting Liverpool to pay £100,000 of his wages. So he's costing me nothing. I also went for Haaland. I've basically, I, I think bringing Lataro Martinez back into this, this adventure, this journey, would be nice. You're thinking it, aren't you? You're thinking, Ben, there's a lot of money being brought in here. And there's a man that we used to really enjoy. You've, you filled in the blanks. Uh, I offered for Diego. They accepted £98 million. He then wanted 700 grand a week and signed a new contract with Inter. That's the story. <laughs> so, yeah, that won't be... That won't be happening. Um, so, yeah, we're getting Latari Martinez in as sort of a backup striker. He's not as quick as he once was, but mentally and technically still very much there. If we need to bring on a bit of a poacher late on, he's going to be our guy. And, of course, a man that we very much enjoyed. In the first season of Glory Hunter, we're getting him back in there. Come on. And also, if you're watching the Newcastle save, he's really good in it. Uh, Arsenal have now made a bid for Nguem. They've actually bid far less for Nguem. How are they bidding so much less? That's How is that fair? How have they bid 55 million? When I, I've not, I've not, what? He's not transfer listed. I think, I don't know if I'm just paying a premium outside of England. I've, I didn't realise I'd have competition for him. I don't really want competition for him. I, I just thought he would join me. Arsenal. My former friends are now trying to stab me in the back. But of course, we can't get Nguim in yet until we see something go on. I've, oh yeah, of course. I mean, midfielders are leaving. I figured Frist would be a good player to bring in. Uh, he, he wants to leave Leipzig, it feels like. But okay, now he doesn't want to leave Leipzig. He just signed another contract. No, he hasn't. So I, I don't know. Oh, come on. He's got a £99 million release fee that I'm not willing to match. Because I think that's a little bit too much. 80 though. I was all for that. They want loads though. It doesn't say he's got a release fee. Has he got a release fee to domestic teams? Clubs in the Champions Cup. So if I bid that, I am in the Champions Cup. I mean, it doesn't say on the left-hand side, but do they have to accept this? No, no, they don't. Unless they do. All right, now I'm just interested. I don't, I don't even necessarily want to. I don't know what the rules are, viewers. We're bidding it. We're seeing, we're seeing what happens. But basically, Chinese clubs, and they're, they're, they're not done, apparently. MDIL now. It's Leon and Chinese clubs that really want my my players. I think mean, these offers will not be good enough. And Dortmund are in here as well. DL Yifang. Uh, or Dalian Yifang, they, they really, really want like some of my boys. I mean, you can see why. They're a bit thin on the ground, viewers. And Emdal's now frustrated about not being able to go to Leon. We're a point off the top of the La Liga, mate. I don't know what you're doing here. I want, what can I do to keep you here? I need to be in a team uh, built around me to a certain degree. Now, I with, with respect to Emdal, I'm a big fan of his. Don't be, don't talk rubbish. Are you, you, you already considered a star player, mate? He's, he's happy now. He's, I mean, I don't know what I did to convince him there, to be honest. Omar Biaz has got a bit of an injury. Now, of course, we probably need to bring in, if we're being realistic, we need to bring in a few more players to make this seat this side a little bit better Latari Martinez and uh and Gwim then they're, they're not no oh, game they're not going to be the, the like the only things we need to do the good thing by the way is we get 100% of the transfer revenue that's pretty important I was looking at the transfer list and other places and again I'm just trying to figure out where we can maybe bring some players in what's nice looking through these lists are the amount of players that are former friends of mine that I'm thinking do you want to cut Paul Carr 100 million they Spurs weren't keen even kick wolf in a, in a goalkeeper people are saying we need to strengthen it do I bring kick wolf into the side I didn't do you do you fancy it mate I mean you had we had a lovely time no no you don't are still not willing Fignato is it time to see him return as the backup to Zeno probably not at this point viewers I mean, we need an attacking midfield He's 34 now. Is it, is it time to see him come back? I mean, Xavier Kabai is having quite a fun time over at Leipzig all of a sudden. Started to play well, so let's play like the player I bought him for. Just needed two low moves to Italy. Italy will do that to you, though. It'll, it'll sort you right out. Diallo, by the way, four starts, one goal for, for Leipzig. I mean, he's worth 16 million there. I mean, I'll have him back. Honestly, I'll have him back. I mean, we're getting him back. Good. I mean, you can see there, Kleber's unhappy as well. Chinese club's going in for him at the moment. Fleissner, maybe, to can play both fullback positions. Castillo at the back as well, 27 million. I, I, I'd like to want to let him go. No, they don't. See, that was good by me then. They should be loving that. That's, that's, that's me, that. Adriano in goal for them as well. A bit of a better goalkeeper, of course. We had him at Leipzig. Won things with him at Leipzig. But we're, look, we're doing okay. I think league-wise, we've got to be realistic. We are third right now, which is pretty good. Diallo offer has been accepted. I would love to get him in. I might sell Brian as a result. Sorry to Brian. I think if we're getting Diallo in, which it looks like... Looks like we are doing. Then I think if we're doing this, then we probably have to get... I mean, he's not worth 70,000. We'll, we'll shake hands right now, Diallo. Come on. Be reasonable. 70k. Done. Right. Brian. Brian. Let's let's get Brian. Oh, God. I feel bad. But, I mean, if we can get Brian out for the same money that we're maybe getting Diallo in for, I think that makes 
pretty good sense. Diallo scored a lot of goals for us last season, and I think having him in replacement of Gab, the players know him. There's a friendship there. That'd be like, really bids are flowing in for Brian. Stuttgart wants him. Right, Stuttgart, you can have Brian. No one else can have him. I, can, I probably could have negotiated that higher. But getting Diallo back, 26 and 34, he was a machine for me last year. Get him back in the side. He could be the, the difference maker. Maybe a change of system. I mean, if I'd have got Diego in, I don't know what would have happened. All right, Serrano has got offers as well. Uh, 21 year old Spaniard who's not really featuring for me, but even even so, I don't know who what's happening here. Do they, he wants a new contract. No. No, we're not doing that. Jimenez has got a couple of bids. He's going nowhere either. Okay, right. Is there going to be... Uh, basically, players have... Right, okay, so the problem we've got here is we, we want this guy in and we need 70 million to bring Nguem in. I mean, we're, obviously, we're bringing him in. I'm going to have to delay this for a short amount of time before we've sold some of the other boys. So that's the dream right here, right now. And Leipzig are negotiating for this. They're not. They're being very unreasonable, if you ask me. People keep saying, I need fullbacks. And I don't think we do. I think Vargas and Sanchez are great. Defensively, Shelton's come back in recently, done fine. Ribeiro's got a bit of an injury. And do I now need to bring in some superstar somewhere? I think we probably do, viewers. Now, whether we're able to do that today, and of course, the money that comes in, I've still got quite a long time left in January to go out and hunt and search. But I think the important thing today is getting the money through the door. There's all sorts of things happening here. Um, Blastius. Some of these some of these coaches coming out. I'm, I'm not responsible for any of this. There's clearly a setup here at Valencia that I'm just a part of. I'm just I'm just head coach, I feel like. Again, they keep they keep going for him. No, no. Jimenez? Jimenez cricket? I don't know. Bogdanovic has got the flu. Oh, we send him to the club. I mean, if they both got flu, food poisoning. All sorts of, of situations going on. Basically, viewers, um, the conclusion I've drawn this season, as well as the financial situation, is that one, with the money that we're about to get, we can probably... Do something. And then Lataro Martinez in. I'm bringing in two strikers here. It's so me, this. It's so me. This is outrageous. Jonas is sitting there going, oh, do, you, do you know you loaned me in? What's that? Who said that? Who said that? Was it Was it you? No, not me, boss. I don't, I don't know them. I don't know. Are there other strikers that maybe need to be moved on here? Oh, Bessa, do you need to do you need to move as well? Of course you do. Come on, come on. Come on. It's time now. It's, it's time for you to go. I've been holding off on this for ages. It's time for you to shift it major moves happening in the january period viewers major moves as there he is look as uh bids are flying in again galatasaray 16.5 million out he goes who knew we had so many assets here at valencia not me not me lataro martinez brought in uh, viewers it, it's a reunion Fris obviously isn't coming in that, that, that deal ain't happening and the fact that Diego can't happen now either, heartbreak hotel. But look at this. Molina's felt, okay, that's a deal that I didn't care about. D Diallo's in. Come on. Right. These, chi China, can we get up, get to work on this? By the way, I've just realised that Kelvin uh, wants me over everybody else. As like, they're, they're not rating Diallo highly at all. They're, they're wrong, but it's fine. Who thought we'd have a side that included Gabe and then, I've, I've called him Gabbed about six times today, Diallo and Lataro Martinez. Not me, boys. Not me. This is fantastic. Come on. Right, this cup game, Spanish cup game, it's, it's in the way of all the sales, but we'll we'll play this and see how we do. Uh, Roman is going to play ahead of Emdal, whose his head is probably turned after all the uh, the transfer dealings. And again, this man is starting to develop. Ignore the arrows. He's, he is starting to develop, trust me. He's getting better all the time. Now, some of these boys, it's going to be their final game for me. Um, with that in mind, I probably shouldn't play Gutierrez. And Omar as well. Let's get... A some of these boys might need to be fit for playing matches. But Toledo here, I've got to be honest, my Toledo knowledge is not what it once was, viewers. But let's face it, this is this is a it's a transfer bonanza, viewers. Ben Sports News cannot believe he's not involved, but he might be involved later this week if we have some money to bring some footballers into us and go for La Liga. Look, I said at the start of the season that we probably couldn't go. Zeno, hello, oh hello. Uh, we probably can't go for. It's a very square pitch. This we probably couldn't go for the league yet, but the cup that was where I felt like we can maybe assault that a little bit and really, really go for it. And obviously, if we win this game today, which I'm expecting us to, we're on that path towards maybe some cup glory. We need some of the big boys to face each other. If we look, there's a lot of luck involved in cup runs. Let's be real with that. So. We're going to have to get a little bit lucky, but at the same time, we are capable of beating anyone on our day as uh, someone's just shoved Shouting, Boss, he's, he's pushed me! He's pushed me, boss! Shout, we've got we've got a penalty, Shouting. Just relax. You, do you want some? Do you want some? I've never seen Shouting like this. I've never seen him like this. Hold me back, boss! Hold me back! Shout, oh, bloody viewers, two seconds. Penalty, it's fine. It's a penalty kick. Uh, who's Brokanka wants it? Here we go. Yes, lovely stuff. As uh, to put us one 0 in the lead. Sorry, but sorry you have to see that, viewers. He's not normally. He's not normally like that. Shouting, Latari Martinez. <sighs> Dream, Dreamland. Yeah, if I'd have got Diego back, that would have been that would have been everything. But there's still time for Diego to return to this series. And I've told you before, viewers, 
I will see him again. Free kick. Roman puts it in. Back post. As we're having lots of chances, but not really quality chances. Let's attack them. Come on. We played on a square pitch for a long time. We should be used to this, really. As uh, oh, the ball through the middle there could have been quite dangerous. As out of nowhere here, Toledo are doing pretty well. The shot goes in. Well done. <laughs> patronising. So patronising. It's outrageous. Shouten on it. Seems to have calmed down a little bit as he finds a nice ball forwards to Braganka, who's struggling for, for fitness. But again, this is a little bit of a friendly based on the quality of this side. As uh, Sanchez into Akiza. Dimitri to... Oh, look at that. Game with the with the goal and 2-0 uh, up. People need to realise it's not gas. People keep saying it's gas. It's not a weird B. It's a weird A. And it makes an uh sound. Game like that. Game like erb. Um, Game. I don't know, viewers. I've just I've been told five different things at the moment in regards to his name. The one thing I do know is it's not gas, which is what some people have said. Velez, back to Shelton. Two 0 up though. I mean, at the rate in which we're going here, Gabe could have the most amount of goals in this cup by a distance. He's already got six in two games, so and this game's not over. So he could have a fair few more. I probably should have got Diallo involved today and Martinez. And I just forgot that I'd sign them, which is not a good sign. Akiza forward, Zeno in behind, back to him. And he's just in the right place all the time. I know these guys aren't very good, but I'm just enjoying him. Rodriguez de Paz, ball played in and they've gone close. I'll be honest with you, now it's 3-0. Get me to the transfers again. If you're enjoying the, the frantic nature of the transfer window, yeah, let me know. We'll, we'll basically follow this on maybe throughout January and uh, and see how we get on with us. Of course, bringing some players in is going to be a major part of this. Of course, we're, a big spend is happening early on. We've already brought in two players. So, um, yeah, stuff's happening. And he's in again as, well, he's not scored. I'm breaking the matrix for us there, viewers. Basically, we need to sell the players, ask for confirmation, get Kelvin in, and then we're laughing. And then I think attacking midfielders, maybe another winger, maybe another centre-back, maybe a goalkeeper. Oh, viewers I'm so excited because the question is are we building to win everything now i mean it's right this is sort of a question for you like would you would you try and buy now in an attempt to, to like make the squad better the team better the 11 better to try and win the league to try and win the cup or would you build for next season would you think next season could be our year where we're going to stay strong we're going to have an even better centre forward who's like he's, he's here already but he's only going to improve based on his age and based on what he's he's, he's capable of I don't know, do you go for it this year because we're close? Or do you think, do you know what, go for it this year, but at the same time, have the next season in the back of your mind. You're probably not going to win the double this year, let's be honest, as Valencia. But so far, in terms of building, we've done a good job. Again, I will say, uh, viewers, as we're, shout out to China, who without them, this, none of this would be possible. <laughs> I think that might be the only time China get a shout out in my my videos. Roman, back on it, ball played in, cleared away. And I've got to say, second half, we've taken our foot off the gas a little bit and done really well. Just to see this out, really. I say done really well. We've, been, we've done nothing. I think a fourth goal, it's it's, it's about time. As uh, Zeno here, he's just racing past defenders. Shot comes in. It, was, it should have been another one. All right, let's get Brian on. Say farewell to Brian. Say farewell to, uh, to him as well, to, uh, to Omar. And then let's get on Aquino. These three boys, all leaving us. They get to say goodbye to the fans who have travelled away to 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 leave uh, to Lido. I don't know how many that is. Wow, I'll be honest, wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Scored a really good goal. Um, I skipped the 3D replay out of pure rage. Eight eight minutes gone. They were they were attacking again there, and I thought this could go badly. This could go. They've still got the ball. Zeno again. Would he go for goal? He shouldn't have. All right, there we are. That wraps it up. 3-1 win and progression. Of course, we'll do the draw today. Find out who we get in the next round. Pleased with the performance, though. Just what you want, really. Injury free as well. And, uh, yeah, we move on. Okay, we're not going to play the Betis game. But we are going to play the next couple of days to see if any transfer business gets over the line. Of course, there's a chance it won't do. But you can see our situation. You know where we stand right now. As I saw there, Aquino, 63 million, 59 of which is coming straight into my bank balance. Uh, he is out of here. Jacob Roberts has joined Fiorentina now. With that money that's come in, is that enough, as uh, Aquino gets three million of it, is that enough to now go out and get... I don't think it is yet. How much money do we need for him? 70, is it? 70 million? 68 million? I mean, it's right on the line here. I could probably just about change the budget to make that happen. I guess we might as well. All right, let's go, let's go ask for confirmation of him and see if we can make this happen right now. Ask for confirmation... There we go. Hopefully this doesn't go wrong, viewers. It would be a real sad end. As we can accept it, and in he comes. Wow. We have... I think the phrase you'd use, viewers, is levelled up. We have just levelled up in central midfield. The big name signing as well. Norwich fans. I mean, last year the club sold quite a lot of shirts, but we may well sell a whole lot more now and Gwem has joined the team. We've signed a superstar, viewers. We have signed a superstar. And that's... That's what you want to see. As he comes straight into the sides... We are, again, we are levelling up this team. You think about what we could do down in the middle. 
already I'm liking it. M. Dal as well, of course, goes onto the bench. And look, this area here, attacking midfield, left wing. M. Dal, I'm happy with. I've got to be honest, what, what, for what he gives me, more than happy. The, the, this, this position here, the attacking midfield role, we're going to get some money. We're going to need to spend it. All right, the the, uh, the cup draw is coming up. And we may well see, or here it is, we may well see a couple more outs just before that. As uh, Barton, I don't think the big boys can meet at this stage. You can see a lot of them still being spread out, and uh, I think we'll get an away game somewhere. That tends to be how it works. Yeah, Levante, one of the tougher games we could have got, actually. Levante, a decent ish side in the second tier. Um, yeah, and there's the rest of the games as they go through then. Some some, pff, some big games, actually. Espanol, Pafla, the Madrid. There could be a little bit of um, of disruption. You never know. I just noticed that Espanol have been relegated, so maybe it's not as big as I first thought. Um, but there we are then. Levante, tough but comfortable at the same time. Can it be tough and comfortable? I'm not sure. It sounds like a good mattress, doesn't it, viewers? All right, we play Betis tomorrow. Um, so we're just going to in quite a big league game. Barcelona as well. So again, if we want to continue this transfer activity, we may well do Barcelona tomorrow. It gives me a few days to figure out what we need to do in regards to players that may be coming in. But um, yeah, we still need to get these boys out and over the line. In terms of the outs, there could be potential income of 215 million coming in if we do it just to sell everybody. But so far, we were a net spend of around 30 million, maybe a little bit more than that as a press conference. We should probably do it. Diallo sees you teaming up with him once again. Oh, I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. And I think Kelvin here could be could be something quite special. Where's his best position? He's not Tyro Martinez. He's not, he's not changing at 35, is he? He may have upset some Leipzig fans by returning. Let me let him go for the minimum value. I think they're all right with it. What's your relationship between me and Tyro Martinez? I don't know if he cares for me. If he even remembers me, he's got no idea. He's got Sean Dyche's favourite personnel. That's rude, isn't it? That is rude. Okay, I saw a couple of pieces of business as Biaz is off. Oh, 54 million is going to be added. I think with the money there, we can almost certainly go out and get some. That was always my problem in the summer. I could never go out and get someone for that little bit more. Uh, Gutierrez as well. That's gone too. So, oh, Lazio get a big chunk of profit there. Good. Oh, that's going to annoy me. 12 million they get from that deal. Probably should have double checked as uh, Gutierrez has gone as well. That I should say 53 million for Gutierrez. That was his release fee. So it's not as maybe as bad as you think. All right, then we need a new captain. Um, I think it's obvious. I think Philippe is going to get that job. Give it to him. New skipper. Welcome, my boy. Welcome. So we've got 109 million to spend to improve this team. And I think the spine of the team needs a little bit of work now. We definitely need another central midfielder maybe to be brought in. Although Sofa can play maybe a bigger role now. He was, he was very much playing second fiddle um, and sort of a fourth choice. I think getting him a slightly more involved is definitely still worthwhile. Of course, Brakanka can play as a backup central midfielder as well. And uh, we may all be seeing Brian and Albessa leave as well. So that's another 30 million coming into the club coffers. And this team is about to get... A little bit of a change around. I'm excited. Hopefully you are too. If you're looking forward to the next part, drop a like on it. And if you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe. As the transfer business here at Valencia is not done just yet. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.